Hey friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll take a look at a paper that deals with removing coherent noises on seismic images. I will go over the training dataset, neural network architecture and present results against traditional structure-oriented filtering. My name is Ruslan, I'm the CTO. For many years, I've been developing and launching AI-based solutions for various parts of oil and gas industry. On this channel, I discuss AI-based application in an easy-to-understand way. We occasionally receive multi-client data and should make a quantitative interpretation. However, noises, including coherent artifacts from migration, can contaminate the survey significantly. Standard filtering approaches may not function because of the signal's coherent noise, share seismic features. Filters that remove undesirable components while preserving useful energy are difficult to build. Of course, we could reprocess this way, which could result in a financial loss of few millions of dollars, which might not be an option for many operators. If not correctly attenuated, it might affect amplitude-related properties, cause issues during quantitative interpretation and result in an incorrect reservoir appraisal. Today's topic is deep learning based denoising for removing coherent artifacts from during migrational step. It can effectively reduce the migrational noise without compromising the seismic image resolution or structural integrity. As we know, noises such as multiple energy, residual impulsive noise and others are produced during migration. The author's goal was to eliminate noises that resulted in insufficient illumination in a complicated medium. In this situation, the noise appeared to be vertical disturbances that overlap numerous reflectors and your scientists can readily distinguish between the signal and the noise in a seismic section. But as I previously stated, it is difficult to accomplish so analytically because noise and useful energy share properties. For Deep Neural Network, they created a synthetic seismic training dataset. Modeling began with synthetic seismic gathers, then migrated with subsampling to produce a noisy samples with artifacts, while other migrations produce clean outputs. This modeling takes place in 2D space, and the resulting pair of images is 256 by 256 pixels in size. The final dataset, which includes augmentation, contains around 100,000 input samples. The dataset was not made public, which is unfortunate. It is fascinating to see how synthetic dataset perform on field seismic. But first, let's go over the neural network architecture. We wish to train a neural network on pairs of clean and contaminated data in the hopes that once trained, it may be used to remove noises from any seismic. For this, we could apply a variety of architectures, including GANs. However, the authors provided a modified 2D unit architecture for this image-to-image -image translation task. As we know, unit is made up of two parts, an encoder and a decoder. The contracting path, which is an encoder, is made up of convolutions with ReLU and max pooling operations that minimizes spatial while increasing feature information. Expanding path reconstructs a clean seismic by combining spatial, feature and high-resolution data. Please read the publication to learn more about convolutions, kernel size and other important information. Alright, let's see the results. The noising capabilities of the neural network were tested on two field seismic data. The first example comes from Brazil, where there is a lot of strong and widespread coherent noise. The seismic events are distorted by migrational noise, making interpretations difficult. In this case, the noise has seismic properties similar to the signal we wish to utilize and preserve. And here is what the convolutional neural network accomplished on this data. The Activity in the upper part is consistent, with the noise shapes no longer present. Overall, the denoise section is cleaner and it's simple to trace reflectivity. This is an example of structure-oriented filtering in action. The noise remains in a shallow region, whereas the technique has eliminated the complementary steeping dipping signal in a lower part. It's also worth noting that using the structure-oriented filtering impacts image resolution. Alright, let's move on to the second example. In the second case, 
insufficient lightening of a single high contrast object result in localized migrational related noise. The noise spreads, disturbing the reflections just above and making interpretation difficult. It is worth noting that this seismic contains injective with the reservoir potential. The train neural network eliminates noise in the lower areas. The injectives, on the other hand, are influenced by the denoise process. Because migration-related noise looks like injective, and we train the network to get rid of that kind of noise. That is why it's explainable why injectives struggle with this situation. The conventional method as structure-oriented filtering removes some of the migrational noises, but also blurs some injectives in the shallow part. I have another video about introduction to AIML methods for seismic processing. Consider checking it out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.